now we are in the final stage we will install jupyter notebook in the particular uh, environment we have created and the environment is tfobj so uh, so in the next step we will uh, we will run jupyter notebook and we will try to access uh, d drive and in the d drive we will access models research object detection and our python code so we will use uh, anaconda uh, anaconda navigator uh, to install the jupyter notebook but here you can see i have already installed it you can launch it from here but if like for example if it's not installed so you will have uh, such kind of uh, like here you can see console shortcut so you uh, you can easily install from here just click install and it will be installed it will be downloaded so it depends on your uh, on your internet speed so i will highly recommend to install jupyter notebook uh, here in uh, uh, anaconda and navigator because sometimes you install it from command prompt but it's installed in the in the base uh, uh, environment so uh, it will encounter error when you run the code in, uh, in from your jupyter so it will not uh, load the particular uh, uh, tensorflow or object de uh, object detection apis so that's why i i recommend to install it in uh, anaconda navigator so once you install it you can directly run it from here but if you run uh, jupyter notebook from here then you can access only c drive you cannot access the d uh, drive so the solution is that here you will go to the anaconda uh, command prompt okay uh, activate tfobj go to the d section and in the d section just jupyter no, uh, notebook run this command so it will directly uh, access d folder so you here you can see it's access d so uh, you can see here models new object detection others and tensorflow if i go to the d section uh, d drive so here i can find all these things so like for example if my python code is uh, inside any folder so i can easily access that so uh, i will go to the uh, to the models and in the models i will go to research and re in research i will go to object detection so in the object detection i have already uh, i i will create another uh, a new uh, file here python file and uh, i can save it like uh, save as you we can say that's uh, uh, testing obj okay testing obj this is the name so it's saved if i close it so i can easily uh, so i can access this particular uh, files and uh, the code is saved in it so here i will check accessing a tensorflow or not so let's see uh, import sorry uh, so it's given, uh, gives me warning but after warning it will uh, it will print yeah it's printed so i hope this warning will not uh, affect our object detection process but i never encountered this uh, such kind of uh, warning when i was implementing it on my system so let's see we will play with that if uh, it's encounter error during uh, implementation of the object detection api uh, our object detection model then uh, we will see what kind of error is that and what kind of warning is that